state representative. <laughs> oh, ask, believe, and receive, huh? I asked before uh, I went back to sleep after my dude went to work this morning, who was behind a lot of stuff, whether now or in the past or in the future and, and shit like that. And I had a strange dream, which I think was supposed to be a nightmare because I know that these people are sending like a lot of heavy negative energy to us. In the dream, my dude's mother was in it. And we were living like in her home. But everything that I had said, like I would say something to somebody else that was there, like, oh, we should try doing that, or because I'm clever and I, I have a lot of like ideas. I've always been that person, not realizing until now in hindsight that there's a lot of people around me who didn't like me, but they would they would do what I said, you know, like they they would. If I said, oh, you know, this is what I do to help me do this and stuff, and the person couldn't stand me, but then they do the same shit. That's basically what my ancestors were showing me because that's what happened i was like oh we should do this and then she said oh maybe we'll do that and i wasn't even speaking to her so maybe that was like newsy energy as well because now that i think about it i wasn't even i didn't even know she was there but she answered and i looked over i went outside and i looked over to what i thought was like a dog and it wound up being some dude what then it turned into a raccoon and then when I got even closer, the raccoon turned into a dude who was attacked by the raccoon and his whole middle insides were hanging out. Now I'm guessing that that was supposed to be like a nightmare or something, but I, went, I remember in my dream, even in my dream, I wasn't afraid of the shit. Appearance, okay. I don't know. Maybe that they're talking to Benji. They're just confirming what I said. Like, so something's not as it appeared to be because I thought it was a dog and a little puppy and I walked over and it was a fucking raccoon. They're nasty. Totally different than a puppy. So maybe that's my guide saying that people are starting to see somebody in particular and this could be different for you or unless you're having like, if you're with a divine masculine and you have issues with his mother wanting to be a wife rather than a mother wanting to keep him stuck in like this childlike in and out flighty energy where this mother could have possibly been doing spells as well to keep this masculine stuck so that they didn't ever find a woman because she wanted to be the main woman in his life because either his dad left or his dad's not here or it's going to be different for all of you who resonate but what that I guess what they're telling me is that don't judge by appearances going both ways Alright, here we go. Let's just see. I'm going to start with these and go off of whatever they talk to me about with the letters. I love you guys. I'm philosophical, but you knew that already, right? <laughs> Let's see. All these different stories. So there could be somebody that's got way too many stories and people are starting to side-eye somebody. Like, wait a minute. Like, But you said this or this doesn't make sense. E. E A. Uh oh. E A. Okay. E A L. She was kind of mocking. So this person could have mocked you or mocked something that you did. Whoever we're about to pull on here. Mocking. This person could actually just mock people. Like they make fun of people. Just not a nice person. Let me see on the uh, Urban Dictionary. That seems to be like where the best ones are at anyway. Spoonie. That's the word of the day. All right. Oh, a sea creature. Oh, like eel, but it's another way to spell eel. Eeling. Uh, let's see. I command the true spirit. Is that the right one? I command the true spirit. Today's November 4th, 2022, correct? I command the true spirit. Thank you. 
I command the truth. Is that what this is, sea creature? Are you guys showing me a sea creature? Are you telling me that this person, are they either, they could be messing with uh, marine spirits? Somebody could be messing with marine spirits. Oh. All right, let's see who this is. Either they're like slimy like an eel, whoever we're about to pull on, or somebody's messing with marine spirits. It could be both. Yeah, it's a mother. I just saw the, the Ember's card. But let's see. Let's just see, huh? Whoever it is. Surprise! Yeah, it's like, yo, uh, show me the people who aren't in that energy. I never thought that just by raising a uh, vibration, you'd have so many haters, do you? Well, there we go with the couple. This is the, this in the upright is the power couple. This, this is the king and queen of pentacles. In the low vibration, uh, so I think that I think it's these two here. Hold on a second, I'm like literally hot. I gotta turn the heat off. Sorry, guys. Can't stand it, but I'm grateful for it. So I believe that they're jealous of these two because these two actually like they have money or they're just good together they balance each other out financially you see how he has his pentacle in his hand and so does she there's no codependency with these two if if this one goes somewhere this one is still all right they're not looking this way for somebody else and looking over here and the same thing for this one they're looking right at each other holding money like this is mine oh cool i have some too but you can have this as well oh cool like that's <laughs> that's what i'm getting something could have happened yeah these two could be married this couple or they're just committed to each other these are both chosen ones or star seeds. They're both light workers. Yes, these two are definite. Yo, this is um, this couple. These two people here. Uh, the protection that these two have is. Well, you know, somebody got their wires crossed. And told lies that's confusing even to you. So there's somebody in the mix here who told a lot of lies about one or both of these people. And I feel like they're getting caught. They're getting caught with all of these lies. Tell me, what, what's up with this star energy, though, this Aquarius energy? What's up with this Aquarius energy? Chaos. Yep, somebody's sending some kind of chaos magic to this couple. It could be an Aquarius, definitely, or a Gemini. But somebody's ancestors or, or guides are blocking this shit. They're sending this to this happy couple. These two are balanced. They're each other's wish fulfillment. They don't have any complaints, right? And then there's some fucking eel type bitch or dude. Yeah, look. Mm -hmm. Capricorn possibly. I got Aquarius and Capricorn. But what this is telling me is that there's somebody sending a lot of... Uh, so because these two came out in the beginning, like balanced, facing each other, not away from each other, like a lot of couples do. Awful stuff. Yeah, they're sending awful stuff to these two. So this could be somebody who had a failed marriage or, you know, they don't have love in their life. Whether it's a female or a male, it doesn't matter. They all react the same to happy couples, it seems like so. Missing persons reports. I don't know. So now, and someone's just sitting there waiting to see if it's going to happen. What you waiting on, bitch, is this, huh? Somebody's waiting to see if, if these two argue or fight or there's some kind of chaos in their life. Yeah, true. And they just sit there and wait. This is what you guys do with your fucking time, sword. Hmm? Look, as, as I didn't even realize it. Look, sword. Sword. <laughs> oh, God. I don't ever want to do anything else. I mean, it's, it's amazing to be gifted and to be so in tune and tapped in and to actually get paid for doing it. I'm amazed. But I earned it because I did very hard work my whole life. Domain. Hmm. All right. So now what? Now they're just getting karma, but now what? Yeah, because currently they're committed. That happened, I came out sideways. And for me, that means currently. Taurus energy, you're up Taurus. But shit, 
of course the devil is always on these two asses. They're a power couple. I mean, th these two came here to change the world in certain ways. They came here to be prototypes. They came here to change the world financially because they, they're good with money when they're in the upright. They had to be good with money separate so that they can be good with money together. So anybody trying to send any bull, it won't work because these people have probably been through way too much. And after going through all this shit, like what haven't these two gone through? You don't get to this point. Like most times people don't just run into someone like this. It takes work. Tape. What's up with tape, huh? Um, yeah, it takes like a lot of work. You're very rarely going to have two people that run into each other with their finances in check and they're good with money. They usually had to go through some shit first and some lessons. These two are too committed to each other uh, to argue and fight. So there's too much commitment here. Yeah, these, these two are blessings to each other. They manifested each other. So that, I don't know if this is you and someone else or someone you're connected to, but two people definitely manifested each other into each other's lives. They, they see each other as blessings. All right. So now what, spirit? Intention. Oh. Domain tape game intention. So someone's intentions may be to tape you. Be careful of who you're talking to. I want to ask about the intentions of somebody here. Tell me about intention. Why are you guys uh, talking to me about, oh, these people working together with bad intention? What is their intention? Let's just get this real fucking quick. What is their intentions, these people working together? It could literally be an Aquarius, a Taurus, uh, and a Capricorn for some of you. It could. Tell me about the intentions to steal from these two because, so, so do people think that all these people working together to try to steal from this couple because they see that this couple has money? Hmm? Yes. Thank you, spirit. But let's do it. Any trap. Trap. Intent and trap. Shut your old mouth. Come through, though. Working together. Working together. Hmm? But there you are. I feel like all these people were also collaborating possibly with a fire sign to do this or just a karmic female energy. Tell me about this, please. Cancer, possibly a cancer. Tell me about this karmic female because I feel like that's what it is. Hmm? Hmm. Working together with a karmic female to come against this nine of pentacles energy here. This independent person. These people see that you guys or whoever this is, whoever this couple is, they continually bring money in and other people are watching this. They're watching, but their intentions are no good. Yeah, demand. Somebody may try to set somebody up to be robbed or something or attempt to. They'll be stopped in their tracks. These people want what these two have. Oh, well, go fucking get it on your own. Go get it on your own. Like whoever this couple is here, because of the star card, they're both healed. They both heal from a lot of this energy being thrown at them separately and possibly together. That's why they are together because they know about it now. These two are aware of demonic energy. They're aware of spell work. And that's probably why they can recognize, oh, maybe we're getting a little frustrated with each other. Let's just separate for a little bit. Or maybe maybe uh, we understand that when they're doing chaos magic or conflict magic, like we can't really talk to many people because that's how it's going to come, right? Exactly. So when you have two people together that have healed, they healed their finances, they healed their past. Because when you get the star with the king and queen of pentacles, these two, that's it. They're at, they're at next level. So they're ready to move to the next level. And of course, with that, you're going to have this demonic fucking five of wands energy of people who can't commit. Uh, they think that they feel entitled to whatever these two have. <clears throat> uh, speak. Yes. Thank you, spirit. Speak. And so that you can't rip these two apart. They don't need, they're not even focused on anything else. They're just looking at each other and they're looking at their pentacles and that's it. They're focused on each other and their and their financial growth and their healing with the star card and that's it. So whoever if somebody here hates their own mother or their father, I guess that would be why they're doing this because you have to admit that in order to be jealous of another person or another couple when you don't even know them, you know nothing about them, there's something deep within you. That you that happened with your parents, you po you possibly hate your mother, or you hate your father, or both. Somebody's family is being threatened here. You're creating. Yeah, these two are creating their own reality. These two, these two, this King and Queen of Pentacles. That's what they're doing. Let's find out whose family is being threatened because I feel like it's the same person that doesn't even like their parents. Hmm. 
Tell me about this family being threatened. Oh, threatened. That don't look good. So there could be manifesting, he just said. These two are manifesting their own reality. Thank you, Spirit. Digging yourself out of this mess. So these two dug themselves out of a mess together. They did it together or they did it separately and they met up together. Whatever it is. These two are cool. They're grounded financially. They look like they're healed with the star card. They're committed to each other. la di da di da Obviously, that's why people are focused on them. Four of swords. Family being threatened to like be off or to not help you or to put an end. A Leo. Family being threatened to not, to put an end to dealing with a Leo, possibly. Strength card. I don't know if your family's being threatened by the spirit realm or if they're actually being threatened by somebody. There's a Leo here that hates their own mother and their own father. Hmm. I feel like this Leo, this Leo's family is being threatened. Let's find out. Human, what is this? I'm sorry, I didn't even look. Manufacturing, speak, and human. Yeah, manufacturing, human. Ooh, are they talking about the, the clones? That would be a manufactured human, correct? Somebody's struggling emotionally when you put this show. I mean, when you look at somebody and you have jealousy and you don't even know nothing about them, you definitely got some emotional issues. Go get some tissues. I come in the Trezzy. 10 o'clock exactly. Is this Leo's family being threatened? So there's a Leo whose family is being threatened. Why are they being threatened? This Leo is receiving karma right now, possibly because they're possibly being threatened. Their, their life is being threatened. Yes. Oh, who's this Leo? Somebody did somebody dirty, and now somebody knows. This Leo could have been making it seem like it was these two that did something. Is also what I'm getting. Manufacturing. That could be drugs. Somebody could be caught or they could have trap, demand, and manufacturing. So there could definitely be somebody in this situation that tried to trap somebody or these two people in saying that they were manufacturing or to set up a situation to make it look like these two were in like drug trafficking or something like that. Let me find out first. I command the Trezzy spirit. Thank you. Was somebody trying to set these two people up to make it look like they were manufacturing. You guys are just disgusting. Manufacture these nuts all day. <laughs> Damn. I mean, you're just trash all around. When is trash day? It should be it should be all day trash day. All right, let's see. So there's a Leo whose family is being threatened. Their life is being threatened. All right. Tell me more. Tell me more. I bet it's a struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole family is being threatened. Wherever this Leo is. Hmm? There could be something happening with a mother. I have to ask something uh, personal. I'm sorry, you guys. So there's a Leo's family that's being threatened. I don't know if this Leo is one, is this King of Pentacles over here or if this is somebody else. To put an end or to stop dealing with a Leo or something. Never experienced real love in their life. Well, of course. I mean, these are just people who are cold. They're just cold. Threaten these fucking nuts, though, is what we say. Who's threatening who? Don't nobody get threatened over here. Yeah, these people are not human. So I don't know if it's this mother or this Leo, but somebody never experienced real love, and it made them super cold. I want to find out who the family's being threatened by. I want to put all this away and find out who 
pull more on this fan. Is this your family or someone you're connected to's family possibly? I don't know. Or this is a Leo. So because these two were over here healed and everything, I honestly think that whoever somebody lied to and said that these two had something to do with, that there could be a Leo uh, that was into trafficking with like a group of people and they fucked up and they blamed it on another couple because that's what it feels like. It feels like somebody blamed something on somebody else because they thought they were going to be easy prey. And now, you know, the truth always comes out. But I want, I want to get some letters on what's up with this hung Somebody hung themselves uh, doing this to, the, to this to this couple. Hung, I don't know, like you know, it could be something else. I mean, it could be hung like a horse, motherfucker. But I I feel like what what we're talking about is that somebody they hung themselves when they when they put focus on these two. Somebody got themselves into such bullshit with so many lies with a group of people, and this it this and the group of people are like suspect, They're like iffy as far as like whether they're you intimidated by them or not. But there's somebody who is intimidating with this group that this other Leo, I feel like there's two Leos in this situation. One's a bad motherfucker, the other one's a pussy. I feel like whoever the bad motherfucker is knows that the one who's a pussy put something on other people because they got themselves in trouble with some shit. That's what I think this is. Um, what can you tell me about this family getting threatened? What can you tell me about this family getting threatened, please? What can you tell me about this family being threatened? Why? Can you give us the whole story? Yeah. Look, why A? Yeah. So I feel like that's them confirming first. It could be Coke, too. Yay. Yay. It, um is that they're confirming that somebody did put something like really bad yam <laughs> um, on another couple and they had nothing to do with something so ugly ass cousin how would we ever know these things right thank you spirit guides 22 22 brief hung read and brief I command the true spirit I command the true spirit. Is this somebody's cousin was involved? Somebody's ugly ass cousin? Okay. Let's find out who the cousin was. This is going to get deep. I'm guessing it's going to get deep because maybe there's family members that also had something to do with some shit. Somebody stay here is going to be brief. This could be a cousin that's connected to someone that you're with, possibly. Who's this ugly-ass cousin, please? Tell me about this ugly-ass cousin. Oh, so are you beautiful? Ease. Brief and ease. So this situation is going to be brief, whatever it is. And I feel like this is your guides telling you if you felt like somebody put something on you and had like a gang coming after you because they lied or something. Because this is like, the, this is what's popping up now is that somebody tried to get themselves out of shit by putting it on two people that had no idea or one person, if this is you, putting it on somebody else that had nothing to do with, they don't even know what's going on then this is for you it's going to be everything's going to be eased okay somebody also thought that this whole situation was going to be quick and it was going to be easy and whatever and it's not because the people the person that this this person blamed it on they're spiritually protected there's somebody or people that would never do whatever it is they were accused of doing so you have uh, an ugly ass cousin and you're beautiful this is beauty health earth sign possibly tell me about this oh wait why is this card backwards oh someone so your cousin possibly followed you here is another spirit that followed you here from a past life nine of pentacles look at this beautiful energy with the nine of pentacles and the sun so you have a, a, a i guess you have a cousin that's jealous if it's saying that you have an ugly ass cousin i didn't say that but that's what they're saying, the spirit realm. They're ruthless. I think, think people got spirits fucked up. They think spirit guides and they think that they're weak. Yeah, think again. Tell me about this uh, cousin. So you're beautiful. I guess your cousin is jealous of you. Queen of Pentacles. 
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Either your cousin is one or you are one. But the shit is, is that whoever this is, somebody doesn't like the fact that there's another person that's absolutely naturally beautiful. They're beautiful. And they're and they're giving. They're a, they're a good hearted person with the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. They're not stingy. Very strong Leo energy. I don't know if you're the cut if you're the Leo or your cousin's a Leo, but somebody here is super super jealous, or it's a cousin of a Leo. Put out, you know. Fuck, it's hot in here. Sorry. Woo wee. It must be nicer out than I thought. Okay. Did you guys ever try Dave's bread? Oh my goodness, that shit is so good. There's like no carbs in it. I think they put flaxseed in it. It is so good. It tastes like the pumpernickel bread that you get at Outback. I got their um, English muffins, and I don't eat a lot of carbs, but it's not like eating carbs. You don't even feel full after you eat it. There's something about this dude's bread. Clean. Oh, I see why. That's why. That's who this is. This powerful, strong, beautiful giving humanitarian type of energy here of course you'd be of course so there's a cousin who's the opposite of this divine feminine they are a karmic feminine or a karmic masculine so did your cousin have something to do with something or somebody's cousin your cousin could be real clingy or something beggar Ooh, in reverse somebody somebody's not codependent anymore obviously you have a cousin that's not i don't listen i'm just saying what i'm seeing somebody has a cousin that is not only not good looking but they are super codependent on somebody cling they're clingy they could be clingy to their husband or clingy to their boyfriend or if this is a male you know there's a lot of dudes jealous of divine feminines uh then then same thing whoever they're with they're very codependent and clingy on them they wouldn't they look at time it is they wouldn't be able to survive on their own, whoever this jealous cousin is. I'm so, I said jealous because I don't want to say ugly. That bothers me, so I'm not going to say that. But I'm telling you, the spirit realm is like, uh, we said it, bitch. Okay. All right. I got you. I feel you. Let's see what else. So obviously there's a cousin that was involved in something. Your cousin could have kidney issues. I gotta turn this up now because I, I can't. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. What else can you tell me, please? Was on camera. Something was on camera. Ooh. So somebody's ugly ass cousin was on camera. Heart attack. What's going on here? Really? What is this spirit? Well, something was on camera. What is this? Was on camera and heart attack. Oh. I don't. This is like repetitively. Was I don't understand. Something was on camera. Oh. Was somebody caught doing spell work on camera? Or were they were incantations? Or was somebody caught saying something that was trying... Or I command the true spirit. This is interesting. Was somebody caught on camera trying to give somebody a heart attack? Like, I don't know. Was it voodoo or something? Can you clear that, please? I command the true spirit. Is this some kind of spell work that was caught on camera with this cousin? Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know where cameras are at, bitches. Ooh, damn. So somebody was caught on camera, like, doing a spell work or some kind of ritual or something. Yeah, it was sneaky. They were doing something sneaky repetitively, but they didn't realize they were being seen. A lot of people don't realize that they were on fucking camera. Now they're like this. Because now people know that whoever this cousin is, they're looking at this cousin different. They're like, what is wrong with you? So that I was right to say jealous because it's not just that they're not attractive, but that would make somebody jealous, right? Like, why wouldn't you be jealous of this strength, this queen of pentacles and nine of pentacles? I mean, who wouldn't want to be this? This is a divine feminine energy here. So something was caught on camera about your cousin doing spell work on your divine feminine. Isn't that something? Let's get a demon card. 
What can you tell me about this spirit? <gasps> ultimately, ultimately they were caught. Ultimately they were caught. All right. What can you tell me, please? Malak. Malak and Sabat. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody's about to find out that jealousy, how, just how dangerous jealousy is. Sabbat, tradition and ceremony surrounding yourself with family. Yeah, this was your family member. This was, that's them just confirming. This cousin could be a Leo for somebody. They could be a Leo. And Malak. Beware of stern punishments and strictness, unyielding strictness. So this person was, was wow, why? Your cousin was like trying to punish you for something? For being beautiful is what it looks like. Wow, no, let's find out. This is some bullshit here. Why, why was this cousin, because you have a happy relationship, Tell why was this cousin punishing someone? Tell me what was the punishment about? What was the, oh. <laughs> because you're a star, because you're meant to be seen. Because you're a divine being, you're a star seed, you're an earth angel, chosen one, whatever you are, this cousin knows. And they don't like it. Somebody, did you even know that your fucking cousin was doing spell work to have you get a heart attack? Did you even know your cousin was connected to this shit? If there's one thing you can rely on, it's being unreliable. So this is this this cousin of yours is unreliable. I don't know if this cousin is a female or if this cousin is a male. It doesn't matter, but wow. Why would you want your cousin to have a heart attack? It's got to be money related, right? So we know this person's a star. And now what? And what else? There's got to be something else here, spirit. Yeah, this person's fucking broke. They're poor. They're meant to be. They were waiting on this to happen. They're waiting on this. They're sitting there doing the shit, waiting on it. The whole time they're waiting on it, you're, they're fucking losing. And you're gaining. Tick. You make someone tick. You tick someone off. Your beauty, Divine Feminine, and the fact that you're a giver with your money and you're not greedy and somebody else can't even be like that because they're like this, ticks your cousin off, Divine Feminine. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that because I feel like that was pretty damn like. Mm -hmm. This is I, I, I realized that when I make videos go too long or when I have them go too long, the message gets distorted because sometimes the message isn't that long and then it winds up getting confusing. So I'm gonna just know know when to fold them. Somebody else should have known when to fold them. Divine feminine, you got a jealous ass, ugly ass cousin for some of you. I mean, shit, I'm sorry. I didn't say the spirit realm did, but this motherfucker actually is a beggar. This person is codependent. The fact that this was backwards like this says that you are on the upright of this. You're not codependent anymore. So now, you could have had a cousin, Divine Feminine, where you guys were kind of similar, where you both were codependent, or you both lived at home, or you both, you know what I mean? And they were comfortable with that. But somebody healed and woke up and realized who they were. They went a different path now because the other one wasn't working and your cousin stayed on the same path and now they're mad. Yo, this shit is deep with the jealousy with families. That's why I say the definition of a family uh, in the dictionary is 3333. 33, uh, people living under the same roof with the same last name or knee, N-E-E. -E. It's, it's sick. It will be your biggest adversaries. That's why you got to remove yourself. I love you. We're still not going nowhere. I love you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine.